Well, hello! Are you a gelatonian? Yeah, sure am. I'm one of the four sentient species found in the gelatonian cluster of United Planets. I was born on Genetnix 2, you see, but I moved to Genetnix 4 when I was just a little gumdrop. I've been here. How long have you been waiting here? Since day one, actually. You see, I pre-ordered my ticket for the Andromeda's maiden voyage for Resiga. Unfortunately, I got the gold package and not the ultimate edition, and I ended up in a long queue. I'm still waiting to see the travel agent. This place has changed a lot since I was last here. Tell me about it. You see, this used to be a tackle shop for jellyfishing. At some point, the cosmic whales showed up and they redesigned the place for them. Instead of arcade machines, we now have vending machines that have surprise mechanics or pachinko. I miss the old days with the jawbreaker and virtual flapper. They were quite fun. Did you get anything for pre-ordering the gold edition? Yeah, I got a commemorative made in void plaque and a pack of collectible cards. I don't have the cards anymore. Did you know they're edible? They're yeah, quite tasty. <laughs> I wish I had more of them instead of this useless plaque. Sure, see you later. Refreshments desk. This suit is too bulky to get for a crowd that dense. I have to find another way around. Excuse me. Hey, Pleb. Don't hit the paywall too hard. I doubt the freemium boardwalk has any medical services. <laughs>
Why is this wall here? Uh, I don't know. Maybe because I'm premium Dale and you're uh, a freeloader. How else are we supposed to separate premium members from plebs like you? That's a nice little vehicle you have there. Jolly much? This little premium skipper can do 20 clicks per minute on land and water. Sure beats what you have, which is nothing. <laughs> How much money did you spend for this privilege? More than you can imagine, pleb. If it wasn't for space whales like me, the Jelly Shore would be nothing more than a tackle shop on a deserted shore. I made this place happen, and don't you forget it, pleb. <laughs> Later, pleb. This suit is too bulky to get for a crowd that dense. I have to find another way around. Greetings, Inspector Domino! Quartermaster Ned here from the RCMP. To make sure we don't break your cover, I've sent a special cue box to land covertly near your current location. I'll be your go-to for top secret mission accessories. All the things you need to help you apprehend the intergalactic fiend. Take this selfie drone. For now, it can only take photos, but I'll be updating the firmware soon. If you need me, I'll be stationed on the Princess Andromeda, working as a covert fashioned expert at a boutique called Future Clothes. When you board the ship, come find me and I'll outfit you with neat gizmos and upgrades. <laughs> Alterations. This message will now covertly self-destruct. Hello and welcome to Space Chuck's home of Galaxian Sludge and Classic Rocks. Can I get you something to go or do you have a Space Chuck subscription? Why do I need a subscription for coffee? We had too many students abusing the Wi-Fi and taking up all the seats. The brass figured they'd weed out the free Subscribers get a seat and everyone else has to take a cup to go. I guess it doesn't hurt that this is on top of the normal pro- I'm almost afraid to ask, but... What's a klaxon sludge? 
It's my favorite non-Newtonian diluted substance on a hot day. We grind calaxin seeds down to a very fine... That's where the magic happens. We smash the frozen calaxin pucks and uh, a sludge comes out. It's uh, magically scientific and delicious. How is Crocs made? The classic way to make Crocs is to take petrified Crocsny larvae and superheat it until they turn into gas. When they cool down, you have the warm liquid Crocs that everyone loves. Do you have any catnip tea? The menu is right in front of you. Uh, do you need a thermal or ultraviolet menu? Can I have a Carpitano to go? Sorry, we're all out of to-go cups at the moment. If you had a subscription, I could uh, make you one in a regular cup and uh, give you a seat. I think I'm done talking about coffee. Thank you for ordering with Space Chucks. Remember to subscribe and pay for more than what you ordered. I like my catnip tea with none of that. Thank you very much. Guess explorations for babies. I'm stuck and need help. Ever play Monkey Island or... Looks like you haven't given the waiting ticket to the receptionist a regress yet. See you later. See you later, player one. Mr. Pobini! Welcome to Regrets, a licensed space boat travel agency. This waiting ticket says I'm six million eight hundred forty thousand. At Regrets, we value your time and thank you for your patience. Please accept this Mr. Convini token for your inconvenience. It's valid for three pulls on our vending machine. It's on us. Thank you for your continued patience. Please visit our social tedium pages and ask about our promotion. At least the fireworks are free to look at. They're attracting a lot of people. 
have to find a way to get to the boat before it sails. I won't be able to navigate the crowds blocking the way. May Hey, Dale. Can I have a guess? <laughs> you want me to just give it to you? No. But I'll trade it for something premium. <laughs> Later, Pleb. Don't forget to pre-order!
Oh, hey, that's me. We are not you. We are us. Why do you follow us? Us? What do you mean us? There are only two of us here, and you can't just run around looking like me. That's illegal. And if it isn't, it should be. There are too many who follow us now, but you seem different. You do not seem to wish us harm. That looks like the jewel I was sent to find. Meaning, do you not know what we are? We cannot simply hand it over. Do you know where we are standing? We're directly above Space Chuck's waste rooms. So do not come any closer. Lest the questionable vapours hurt you. I have a duty as an RCMP officer to return the jewel to its rightful owner. That is unfortunate. Apologies, Inspector. But we cannot allow you to imprison us. Goodbye, Inspector. So long, Inspector. Isn't this a bit overkill for rats? I think that made me lose one of my nine lives. Hey boss, I found the main security alcove. I could survey the whole boardwalk from here. What? Gordo, you ultraviolet ignoramus. I told you not to call me. What are you still doing on the jelly shore? I think they're still here, boss. Fireworks were activated hours before schedule. The crowds are so thick along the boardwalk, I can't get anywhere near the ship. Our intelligence said the thief was already on the ship. I don't give two hovering haslicks how you get aboard, just do it before the ship launches. Eject one of those cretinous whales from a premium skipper, and use that to get to the ship. Okay boss, wait! Looks like someone's stealing one of the premium skippers from the hangar bay. Uh, gotta go boss! What? Wait. What's happening? Answer me, you languid lizard. That's the last time I hire a washed up M9 member. They never follow orders.
didn't realize Galatonics was made of sedimentary jelly layers. I wonder what makes this... Actually, on second thought, this is a sewage drain. Good thing I brought my Fishbook Pro along with me. Time to give Dale a premium launch. What the? <laughs> I think it's time to recall my mule. Hey, you just appeared like one of those horses. How did you get here? I just... And here you are. That really is magical. Next stop, Princess Andromeda. I hope this leads me back to the Jelly Shore. Well, folks, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. The final shuttle for the Princess Andromeda's in place. What was that? And why is there a well-rigged PA system in the sewers? Well, that's right, Buck. The Princess Andromeda has finished its taxi service, so the race should begin any moment now. Attention, this is the last boarding call for space boat IGCL Princess Andromeda. And they're off! Well, at least this gets me to the ship, right? Looks like we have yet another last-minute addition to the roster. According to this, their name is Article 62, Section 7. Sounds like an alias to me. Hey, Article was my mother's name. Like someone wants a pizza to go. Lenny's special sauce gives you the runs, but on this track, it slows you down. <laughs> with some knockdown, ouch! And that's why you should never run a race and try to deliver pizza at hey, the buddy, same time! I need some help over here! Hey, over here! The first leg of the race is sponsored by Lenny's! Now that's some eats! Did you know Lenny's mascot Swirly Pops has a tooth made of corn? Oh, oh, I wish I didn't know that. Looks 
like we have one last racer taking the overhead compartment challenge. And that's why you should always get the premium luggage deal. If the service is free, that means your luggage ends up on the track. Hey, hey, isn't that a premium skipper? I thought those were pay to win. Nah, premium skippers are only cosmetic. You know, I've seen a lot of cats in suits in my day, and that's definitely not one of them. Looks like the last of the racers is making their way to the final leg of the race. This part of the race is sponsored by Pepperonos. It's not fresh unless it screams. Time's almost up! We hope you enjoyed the Spaceboat demo. Thank you so much for playing. Wish Looks like we have yet another last-minute addition to the roster. According to this, their name is Article 62, Section 7. Sounds like an alias to me. Hey, Article was my mother's name.
Hey, is that my suitcase? Be more careful! <laughs> Looks like someone wants a pizza to go! Any special sauce gives you the runs, but on this track, it slows you. Ooh, that would suck back down. Ouch! And that's why you should never run a race and try to deliver pizza at the same time. I need some help over here. Hey, over here! The first leg of the race is sponsored by Lenny's. Now that's some eats. Did you know Lenny's mascot Swirly Pops has a tooth made of corn? Oh, oh, I wish I didn't know Don't that. forget, Pio! Don't forget, pre-order!